Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Thank Hi there. you. Well, well, congratulations. Evan. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Um, how close are you to finding a dress for the big day, and what are you looking for inspiration-wise, favorite designers, all of that? Mm. It's so funny. I had said that as a little girl, you know, most little girls dream about their wedding dresses, but I always dreamed about my Oscar dress. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe because uh, I like color. Um, so probably what I'm going to go for something that is uh, perhaps colorful. But see, you know, you never know at the last minute you could change your mind. I love um, fashion that celebrates a woman's body that um, maybe is a throwback to the, the glamour of old Hollywood, that silhouette, but somehow making it modern. Thank you. Hi. Good. Thank you. You have so much going on right now. How are you? What is going to be your big bad day? What's your <sighs> what, how are you going to prepare? How are you going to calm and zen down? Yes. Well, just to have the morning off will be already like calm and zen for me. I had three shows this weekend. <laughs> I'm still doing the Broadway play. I had two shows on Saturday, a show on Sunday, and went straight to the airport. So I do feel like I don't know which world I'm in right now. <laughs> um, so uh, probably the morning of the Oscars, you know, I'm going to be surrounded by my friends and my family and um, probably have a nice breakfast and play some calming music with candles, just something really relaxing and celebratory. Uh, for me, it's, I know it's a strange thing that happens this time of year where it starts to feel like it's a race. But this is a acting is very different than playing tennis. Like you can't, you don't put two people in a room and, and we match it out. It's for me, I feel like I've already won. And um, so I never want to lose sight of what I feel right now in being in this business and being being nominated. I know everyone says that, but really, you you win already. <laughs> and um, that's going to be very important for me and my family and my friends to focus on. Thank you. Hi. Hi. You trained long and hard to, to get to this point in your yes. career. What advice would you give all the young actors in this town right now who want to be where you are? Oh my gosh. Well, uh, you know, whenever an actor comes up to me and asks me, you know, uh, advice, I always say to do something every single day that reminds yourself that you're an actor, even when no one's paying you to be an actor and you don't have a job. Uh, when I was trying to figure out wh how to find my place in this industry, I continued like I was still in school, so I would make sure I had a movement class every day. I would fi I found a donation basis yoga studio. Then I would go to the library and, and start working on a play or um, adapting Hamlet. I thought I was going to make a movie of Hamlet someday. Uh, so I think if you do, you do something like that that's for yourself every day, you continue to grow and you don't feel like someone else is in charge of your growth as an actor. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> what advice would I give females in the military? That's something I really, I don't know how, if I have much advice to women who are giving so much of their lives um, to be civil servants and protect our country. Um, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I admire uh, people who do that greatly. My advice to any woman in a field that has been in the past dominated by men, <laughs> by numbers and by seniority would be to look at the great examples of women like Catherine Bigelow and like Maya, who the woman I play in this film. And instead of complaining about the, you know, the numbers not matching, which of course that's an important issue, but I've found that if you do really good work, it will rise to the top. And Catherine Bigelow never um, talks about the glass ceiling um, in Hollywood for female directors. She shows up on set, She's an expert at her work. And at the end of the day, that's what you know her for. You don't think she's a brilliant filmmaker and she's a woman. Can you believe it? You just, I just think she's a brilliant filmmaker. And that's the same thing. That's the way I feel about Maya. And so what I would say to the women in the military would be thank you. Thank you guys very much.